new film festival getting major buzz in the Duke City. Next week, Albuquerque will host this festival. It's pulling in exciting films and big stars. Well, the original goal of AFMX was to provide entertainment for the community uh, by bringing in huge names, uh, lots of events uh, that would take over the city. So 2013, you know, we came out of the gates really, really big with Robert Redford. Um, there's no bigger name when it comes to film festivals, of course. I was really pleased uh, to see the reaction that Ivan got because of what they are building here and what, what they represent in terms of the arts and to see the enthusiasm from the audience, I, I thought was, it really lifted me in terms of why Bob and I are here tonight. You know, having Bob here, you know, really set the tone uh, for AFMX on a worldwide scale. The Way of the Rain was a phenomenal event. Uh, that was a uh, artistic structure of performance art with music, painting, photography, videography, dance. Um, that that just really stood out as a uh, creative uh, event that we that we actually started in 2013 uh, here at AFMX, and now it's a worldwide phenomenon. Be part of an unparalleled New Mexico film event. June 3rd through 9th, the Albuquerque Film and Media Experience. Join Robert Redford. I would venture to guess that there are festivals of this type that are attentive that haven't seen the success that we've seen this year, so congratulations. Um, I'm Ann Lerner, the City of Albuquerque's Film Liaison, and very happy to be a sponsor of this great film festival. I love movies and I love planning events and I'm an actor and what better place to put all those things together than a film festival. This is a fusion of film and all different kinds of media that includes art, dance, so it's just been vast and it's been uh, so wonderful for the Knob Hill community, particularly the associations involved. This is the first annual and we are already planning the second. Oh my God, there are so many highlights when it comes to the past 10 years at the festival. Um, to name a few, an evening with Robert Redford, hands down, was one of the uh, showcase events in, in uh, 2013. Uh, Bob's been to events afterwards as well. We've had uh, fundraising dinners with he and Mrs. Redford. It's the Buddy Rich Alumni Tribute Concert was fantastic in 2014. So, you know, some, some of these events that we've had over the years have really touched everybody who has attended the festival or who has been involved, including the talent themselves. First time I heard of AFMX, I was actually submitting the film. And I was really impressed by the behind the scenes. And I realized that if I ever went back to New Mexico, that would be an organization that I'd want to volunteer for because of how I was treated as a filmmaker. Twenty fifteen, my goodness, we had um uh, the lifeblood and rhythm of Randy Castillo and had all of these rock stars come in for not only the screening of the documentary, but this huge after party at Rock and Brews. Nathan East, you know, 
the bass player, you know, famous for being uh, Eric Clapton's bass player and uh, writing songs for Phil Collins and Philip Bailey. Uh, we had 24 local musicians who came together, rehearsed, and uh, performed 10 of his top songs that he uh, recorded over the years. And uh, we just had one huge celebration with uh, amazing talent on stage. Uh, 2017 was a huge year. Um, Nathan East was a conduit to bring in T-Bone Burnett uh, to receive our music award. And joining T-Bone is one of our dear friends, Jeff Bridges. Uh, those two have worked on so many projects together. Brought in the rug from uh, Warner Brothers uh, that was in the movie and people had a chance to go up on stage prior to the screening, lay down on the rug, get pictures on the rug, The list goes on and on and on with um, events that are so memorable. You know, I think people just have to attend the festival to find out how special it is. March 2020 hit. COVID shutdown. Our our team was in the in the middle of planning for an incredible festival in 2020 live in person and um, you know everybody was hit with a brick wall you know the community went into a huge depression here in Albuquerque when everything shut down restaurants bars stores you know it came to a standstill so we put together um, safety measures and protocol written and presented it to the city so we could present drive-in movies. So we worked with partners in the community and we presented throwback 80s and 90s movies at O'Neill's uh, Irish pub in their parking lot. Uh, we also did it on the west side at um, Cottonwood Mall and the feedback we got from the community was just a huge thank you for giving families something to do during the pandemic. Yeah, having that throwback era idea of enjoying 80s and 90s movies, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, oh my god, it was such a great time. So we found it as a family, the AFMX family, a fun thing to do every week um, that got us out of the house, making sure everybody was safe with masks and following every um, federal and state protocol when it came to COVID, um, turned it into something really special for the community. We had so much fun doing it. It's the online virtual experience you don't want to miss with films, music, and celebrity guests. Go to abqfilmx.com to buy tickets and passes today. See you in September at the Albuquerque Film and Music Experience. We made a tough decision. We were actually the first event and organization in Albuquerque to say we're going all virtual. We had intentions to go with a live festival. Of course, that couldn't happen because of the pandemic. But we retooled a great idea. Hello, I'm Ivan Wiener, Executive Director of the Albuquerque Film and Music Experience. Welcome to AFMX 2020, the virtual edition. Hit it now. the best actress in a feature or short film at AFMX. Uh, I wish everybody well. Uh, I wish everybody a safe and happy holiday season. And I'm hoping, really hoping, that I can get back to Albuquerque real soon because it is one of my favorite places to visit. Uh, I have a lot of great friends there, and uh, it's always just a beautiful time.
Thank you. Thank you to New Mexico Film and Television and the crews and the people here um, and the talent pool. Uh, and it's been it's been a blast. I hope that I hope that I have another project that brings me back here soon. Um, and and yeah, I hope that any of this has been uh, helpful to um, young actors and young filmmakers uh, listening um, in these discussions because. Uh, there's great, great, wonderful things coming out of New Mexico right now. Just bring in the creativity of a new product for AFMX, which was a great hit. Um, that's, I was really proud of that. It's my pleasure and the reminder that eight years ago, um, you know, Albuquerque Film and Television uh, began is just blowing me away that the time has gone by so quickly. You've done a great job keeping things together, especially in this time and time. Um, filmmakers from around the world submitted films. They understood how important it was for us to move forward. Um, so we did so in planning the festival fully virtual, and it was really great and well attended. We came together for a common good, the love of movies, and sharing them, and it was a great success. I, I just I'm really grateful that we are at the 10 year point and uh, year number 10 we're going back to in person and having the event in person after the pandemic is really an exciting thing for everyone involved especially the community so we're looking for an amazing turnout. I'm really looking forward to creating more platforms for screenwriters, for actors, for other departments like production, for um, makeup, for costumes, everything that incorporates a movie. I would just, I mean, being just a film geek, I would just love to learn more about that. I think that's why I volunteer for AFMX. From 2020 and 2021's AFMX experience being completely virtual, we kind of mastered um, a domain of presenting things online. It's the collective energy of filmmakers and film lovers that come together to share ideas, to um, congratulate each other on their accomplishments, to watch each other's films. It's so magical. That's why filmmakers submit their films to film festivals. It's just that energy of storytelling, of collaboration, and coming together for a common goal uh, of entertainment and really just the arts. It's, I'm so looking forward to it. walk into that theater and you're greeted by our staff and you find your seat and you know the pre-roll starts and you know the venue manager gets up and is thanking sponsors and special guests and the audience for being there it, it's just it's an experience like no other it really it's really fantastic
Your mind.